Welcome to room 211 at Billings Senior High School, where the open windows may let in the sound of modern traffic rushing down Grand Avenue, but no one even seems to notice. Captivated by his stories of the past, the students in Mr. Brett Nichols' class are focused on only one thing, world history. Brett Nichols, I teach sophomore world history, senior government, and senior sociology. I have parcels just week. As a first-year teacher, Brett speaks enthusiastically about a topic that has his students' mind racing. After all, it's their world. It's going to be all these guys coming together. If you look on six, seven, eight, sure, it's old. Sure, it's in the past. But Brett sees to it that this group is making connections to their lives today. They're going to work in teams, and their team will have one mystery from somewhere in history that they have to research and present to the class. I first met Brett during a Montana Ed Chat, a weekly Twitter discussion where educators from around the state gather every Tuesday night to discuss tips, tools, techniques, and tricks of the trade. Since Brett was an avid participant and contributor to this discussion, I felt sure he'd been doing this for years. Turns out, I was way off. I, I'm new to teaching. This is my first Well, history and teaching was my first love. I was in... Uh, graduate school, I was working on a PhD, towards a PhD in history. I was still in my master's program, but I was accepted into the PhD program at Stanford. So I decided to be a stay-at-home dad, or not a stay-at-home dad, but home with my kids, grad students are never home. And uh, got into the computer tech field and was there for about 13 years. And uh, the tech market got a little rough in Billings. I got laid off three times. so. I uh, went back to my original love, teaching history. Got my teacher certification at MSUB. Went back at 40. And uh, so now I'm doing something I really enjoy. Equipped with a smart board, his computer, and even a self-made app, Brett uses these tools to make the curriculum and the learning objectives come to life. Then I've got, you know, this, their calendar, links to PowerSchool, valuable. While history may be a thing of the past, Brett doesn't look at technology as a thing of the future. It's today. In fact, technology is actually part of Brett's past. Before I was a computer tech, uh, network engineer's assistant, and software specialist. Although he is new to the teaching profession, Brett certainly has the right idea about what it means to successfully integrate technology. Uh, technology integration to me means that you are using technology in any possible way and it's not noticeable. I don't, want the, I don't want the lesson to be about the technology. I want the technology to be about the lesson. So um, a lot of the things we do in here, uh, like the app, uh, like the final project I showed you, those are just tools to get them somewhere else and to, to help the learning. I want it to be more organic. Um, I believe in reading heavily, so the final project takes into a lot of material they have to read in order to get going. So, it's, so as a new teacher, school. trying and to successfully integrate honestly, technology, Brett has really turned to his colleagues from around the state, country, and learn, even world exactly. through Twitter. And I can just throw a question out there on the Montana Ed Chat, and within half an hour, I'll have 15 people answer. Um, the first night I did it, I was welcomed. Uh, it was incredible, made some great connections. I got to meet a lot of fantastic people at MEA in Missoula, who, you know, people that I wouldn't have known but for Montana Ed Chat. And um, I've actually expanded a bit because I, I try to keep up on the latest in history and I spent a lot of time perusing archaeology websites. It's been, it's been a tremendous experience um, and just so valuable. And like I said the connections I've made it's almost like the, you know, half the state is my building. Thanks, Brett, for staying up extra late on Tuesday nights, for sharing with the world through Twitter, and in turn, bringing the world of history to the students of Billings.